Paula Stone. And Blake Braddock meet today on It's Academic. Now that is some noise. Thank you very much. I'm Hillary Howard. Glad to have you. This is the opening round. You know how it works. Each team begins with 100 points. 10 up for a right answer. 10 down for a wrong answer. Contestants in studio don't see what you do on the screens at home. Let's begin. Knock on wood. We live in an age when many things are made of plastic, but let's go back to earlier days and identify the following items, all of which were made of wood. The Greeks defeated the Trojans by building this super paint branch. Answer? Horse. Yeah, the Trojan horse. In Moby Dick, Ishmael saves himself by clinging to this wooden object. The answer is a coffin. This carved wooden object titles a Christmas time ballet by Tchaikovsky. Lake Braddock. The Nutcracker. Nutcracker is right. Australian Aborigines threw these curved flat wooden paint branch. Boomerang. Boomerang is right. All made from wood. This kind of wooden cabin was the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln. Thomas Stone. Answer? A log cabin. A log cabin is right. <clears throat> this wooden object was whitewashed by Tom Sawyer and his friends, like Brad Braddock. Fence. Fence is correct. The fictional Geppetto fashioned this puppet who later came to Thomas Stone. Pinocchio. Pinocchio is it. This kind of light, B initialed wood, is often used for model Braddock. Defer. Balsa wood. Balsa wood is right. And that's the end of the round. <laughs> Season. And for 50 years, proudly sponsored by Giant. Awesome! The cheerleaders from Paint Branch High School looking good. Hello, everybody. We are so glad you've joined us for It's Academic on this Saturday morning. It is time to meet the teams. We begin with Paint Branch High School from Burtonsville, Maryland. And first, we get to say hello to my... Ja is it Jamie? Yes. My, I, I need to put my glasses on. Isn't that pathetic? How you doing, Jamie? Good. Good. I think we have somebody that's making a lot of noise over there. Who is she? Who is that over there? Can we... Hold her up. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that's where it's coming from. Hello, sweetheart. All right. Jamie, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm a sophomore at Paint Branch, and I'm a goalie on the field hockey team there. All right. Alex, how are you? <clears throat> I'm good. Thank you for asking. I am Alexander Moscow, a 17-year-old senior at Paint Branch High School, and I'd like to thank Thank the coaches and all of the staff members Here's at Paint Branch. All righty, and hello, Alexis. Uh, hello, my name is Alexis Mensa. I'm a 16-year-old um, junior at Paint Branch, and I'm a part of the Science um, National Honor Society. Wonderful, congratulations. Thank Here you. we go, guys. By taking one word from each of these columns, you can get the title of what novel, a part of the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. Breaking. Nope, it's just for Paint Branch this time. <laughs> Breaking Dawn. Breaking Dawn is right. Tin tenors occur. You can sing your way up to 20 points if you rearrange the letters here to name what post-Civil War period when the former Confederate states were under federal control. Reconstruction. Yes. Please fill in the blanks here to identify the endocrine gland located in your neck. Uh, thyroid. thyroid. Thyroid is right. Sinai, Gobi, Sahara. Not all deserts are created equal. Please list these deserts in terms of land area, beginning with the largest. Sahara, Sinai, Gobi. No, Sahara, Gobi, Sinai. You were most of the way. You cannot oppose violence with anything but violence. This was the opinion of a former president of what South American country whose capital is Buenos Aires? Argentina. Argentina is right. Nice paint branch. 200 points. <laughs> From 
Waldorf, Maryland, Thomas Stone High School. Hello, Alexa. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? Very well, thank you. All right, uh, I'm Alexa. I'm a 16-year-old junior, and I would like to thank all of our family and friends for coming out to support us today. Wonderful. Lindsay, good to see you. Hi, my name's Lindsay. I'm a 17-year-old um, senior, and I'd like to thank our alternates, Marlon and Clayton, for coming out for us. Wonderful. And hello, Malachi. Hi. Um, I'm Malachi. I'm a 15-year-old sophomore, and I'd like to thank our choir. Very good. Here we go, guys. Take one word from each column to name what Dickens' character, the crippled boy who was Bob Cratchit's son in A Christmas Carol. Tiny Tim. Yeah. Flag muster. You can muster 20 points by rearranging the letters in this phrase to name what warm ocean current that flows northeasterly across the Atlantic. The answer is Gulf Stream. Go to work on this word by adding more letters, and you'll get the name of what capital of Chile? Santiago. Santiago is right. Iron Age, Bronze Age, Stone Age. These terms designate three eras of human development and tool making. Please arrange them in chronological order. Stone, bronze, and iron. You've got it. She would rather light a candle than curse the darkness. This was part of the memorial tribute to what 20th century first lady, whose husband was the only president elected to four terms in office. Answer? Mary Roosevelt. Eleanor Roosevelt, Eleanor. so close, I'm sorry. But nice job, Thomas Stone, 180 points. <laughs> All righty, from Burke, Virginia, Lake Braddock High School. Hello, Katie. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm a 16-year-old junior, and I would like to thank all my teachers and my parents for teaching me everything I know. Oh, that's nice. Robert, how are you? Hi, I'm Robert. I'm a senior, and I'd like to thank our coach, Mr. Holtzman, who couldn't be here today. All righty, and Will. Hi, I'm Will. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and I would like to thank our alternate, Chad, for being here today. All right, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Chad. Take one word from each column and you'll name what famous revolutionary war battle? Bunker Hill. Correct. Raise pup, rearrange these letters, and you'll name what sort of material made from reeds that the ancient Egyptians used instead of paper or parchment? Papyrus. Yes. Your score will climb 20 points if you surround this man with the right letters to name what highest mountain in Africa? Kilimanjaro. Correct. Malcolm X shot. Joan of Arc burned, John Brown hanged. These fatal events took place in different centuries. Please arrange them in chronological order. Uh, Joan of Arc burned, John Brown hanged, Malcolm X shot. That's it. I'm here to build something for the long term. This statement comes from what man, the co-founder and CEO of Facebook? Mark Zuckerberg. That is it. Lake Braddock, 230 points. We'll be right back. People aren't talking about how Jai's delicious Nature's Promise turkey is free from antibiotics. They're not talking about our easy grab-and-go chicken wing trays, or that our sustainable shrimp wrapped in prosciutto makes the perfect appetizer. They're also not talking about our delicious spiral ham glazed with real honey. They're not talking because they're eating. Oh, hello. That looks so good. A giant, it's the little things that make mealtime easy, leaving more time for those closest to you during the holidays. You get more for your money at Thompson Creek. We do it all. Design, build, and install. So you won't pay the middleman markup. There is no middleman. Save 25% on every window for a limited time during our biggest sale of the year. Call 855-57-CREEK. All next week, News 4 Today is getting you ready for the holidays. On Monday, Susan Hogan is helping you cash in on the best Black Friday deal. The doorbuster is worth waiting for, the sales you can skip, and the bargains you can score right now. Plus your travel forecast, Monday on News 4 Today. That is the Lake Braddock High School a Hype Squad with the Bruin and inside that Bruin suit 
Carl T. Levine. Way to go, Carl. Hello, everybody. Uh, let's dive into the picture perfect round. But first, I have something to tell you. Today's contestants will receive passes to the International Spy Museum, where they'll encounter intrigue, deception, and daring escapes at the only museum dedicated to espionage. Nothing is as it seems at the Spy Museum. And while they're at the museum, please go to our Facebook page and like us. All right, let's recap these scores before we dive into the picture perfect round. Paint Branch, 200. Thomas Stone, 120. Lake Braddock, 230. All right, questions are worth 20 points up or down for this round. This elegant piece of jewelry pictures what ancient Egyptian queen who had a tragic alliance with Mark Antony? Braddock. Cleopatra. Yes. A sculpture of a bald eagle dominates this room in the home of what American explorer who with Matthew Henson reached the North Pole in 1909? The answer is... Robert Peary. Located in Vienna, this is a monument to what composer known as the Waltz King? It's Johann, ah, you already did it, Johann Strauss. Taking positive roots, what is two-thirds the square root of 900? Paint Branch. 20. 20 is right. This is a work by John Kensett, a 19th century artist associated with a school of landscape painters named for what New York River? It is Braddock. Hudsonians? Mm, it's the Hudson. Take it? Okay. Yeah, the beautiful paintings, too. Good job. This gold pendant was the work of an ancient artist from the Minoan civilization that flourished on what largest Greek? La Braddock. Crete. Crete is it. Cerebrum, pons, medulla. Choice. Voluntary responses to external stimuli are generally controlled by which of these? Braddock? Cerebrum? Yeah. Painted in 1846, this is a view of what Missouri City known as the Gateway to the West. Braddock. St. Louis. It is St. Louis. We'll be right back. committed to serving the educational and informational needs of children. The station's children's television program reports describing our efforts are available through the Federal Communications Commission website at publicfiles.fcc.gov. Cold weather is here, and here's how you can save on your utility bill. Install weather stripping and caulk around doors and windows. And apply window film to keep cold air out. For more tips, go to NBCWashington.com slash ready for winter. NBC4 is working for you. Hey, it's Olivia. I had to try out these brand new Sweet and Smoky Barbecue Boneless Wings. Mmm, it tastes amazing. Is it possible for chicken wings to be addictive? Five wings? It's only three bucks. We're getting saucy. Rallies and checkers. Fast foodies know the deal. As winter approaches, it's important to make sure your furnace and appliances are working properly. Schedule an appointment to have a licensed contractor perform a thorough inspection of your natural gas equipment. For more tips, go to NBCWashington.com slash ready for winter. NBC4 is working for you. Beautiful. That is the Thomas Stone Chamber Choir. That was so pretty. I'm sorry you guys had to stop, but we have a show to do here. <laughs> uh, let's meet the administrators and coaches that help these students get ready for competition. We begin with Paint Branch High School. Alex, who's First off, to my right, we have our principal, Dr. Yarborough. And to my left, we have our coach, Coach Miss Leilani. Great to see you guys. <laughs> From Thomas Stone, Lindsay, who's with you? Right to the right of me, I have our ninth grade administrator, Miss Yap, and to the left of me, I have our coach, Mrs. Jeffrey. Really glad you guys are here. <laughs> and from Lake Braddock, Robert. To my right, we have our co-sponsor, Mr. Henrik, and to my left, we have our administrator, Miss Waterman. Really good to see you. <laughs> 
It is that time. We have these three packets, one, two, and three, with questions in them, eight apiece. Uh, Paint Branch will answer questions from one of them first. Thomas Stone will choose which envelope they answer questions from. Thomas Stone, what's it going to be? Two. Two. If you get all the questions right, 25 point bonus, which is always nice. Okay. Alaska's entry into the Union significantly increased the U.S. population of what official national bird, then rapidly becoming extinct? Bald eagle. Yeah. Even the largest zoos don't have what mythical horse-like animal with one horn in the middle of its forehead? Unicorn. Yes. At England's University of Nottingham, you can get a master's degree in the study of what legendary outlaw, the enemy of the sheriff of Nottingham? The answer is, you know this, it's Robin Hood. Here's your science question. The photoelectric effect may be easily demonstrated by bombarding cesium with light rays, which will cause it to give off which of these? Electrons? Yeah, that's it. During the First World War, Lucy Derwent Vaughn, uh, I'm so sorry, Lucy Derwent won $25 for designing the state flag of what state where Abraham Lincoln practiced law and is buried? Nebraska? No, it's Illinois. Talk about unhappy endings. Both title characters end up dead in what Shakespeare tragedy about two young star-crossed lovers? Romeo and Juliet. That's it. Here's your math question. Taking positive roots, evaluate this expression for x equals 4, giving your answer as an integer. 22. Correct. The first Englishman to sail around the earth was what 16th century sea dog whose flagship was the Golden Hind? Answer is Sir Francis Drake. Nice job, Paint Branch. 320 points. All right, Thomas Stone, it's your turn. Lake Braddock, packet one or three? One. One. And the first question. The word macaroni not only refers to pasta, it also identifies a species of what flightless birds native to Antarctica? A penguin. Yeah. In 1848, a U.S. naval officer named William Lynch became the first person to measure the depth of what Middle East Sea with a fatal sounding name? The Dead Sea. The Dead Sea? The Dead Sea is right. In the belief that this metal aided healing, some ancient doctors used surgical instruments made of what element whose chemical symbol is CU? Copper. Yes, here's your science question. In physics, a black body radiates energy in proportion to which of these? It's mass cubed. No, temperature to the fourth power. Goats, who can eat almost anything, have been brought in to get rid of the poison ivy in what capital city of Vermont? I need an answer in three, uh, two, one. Montpelier. A scientist named George Challenger was the subject of three novels by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, who created many challenges for what famous fictional detective? Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, here's your math question. How long is line AC if line DE is 15 feet and joins the midpoints of AB and BC? 30. You're right. In World War II, Germany's youngest field marshal was what leader of the Africa Corps nicknamed the Desert Fox? Oh, what's his name? Answer in three, two, one. It's Rommel. Nice job, Thomas Stone, 280 points. I love the spirit. Hey, packet number three for a Lake Braddock. Only one king of England has been succeeded by three of his children, and that was what much married Tudor king? Henry VIII. Yeah. Spooky illustrations by Mary Grand Prix grace the pages of spooky Harry Potter books by what English author? 
J.K. Rowling? J.K. Rowling, it is. There were only six flights in America's first manned space project, named for what Roman messenger god? Apollo. Mercury, no, sorry, science question. The skin and nervous system form from which of these embryological layers? Ectoderm. Yeah. The city of San Diego gets half its water, billions of gallons a year, from what river that in earlier times carved the Grand Canyon? The Colorado River. Yes. A nameless man had a hard time in To Build a Fire, a short story by what author who heated up the literary world with The Call of the Wild? Jack London. Yeah. Math question? Solve for X. Four. Four is right. It's ironic that the classic 19th century political study, Democracy in America, was written not by an American, but by what Frenchman? Voltaire. No, Alexis de Tocqueville. But nice job, Blake Braddock. 450 points. We'll be right back with the grab bag. You know when you're at Ross and you realize it's time your sister stopped borrowing your sweaters? Yeah. That's yes for less. Stop stealing mine. Never. The perfect sweater makes the perfect holiday gift. And it feels even better when you find it for less at Ross. Yes for less. People aren't talking about how Chai's delicious Nature's Promise turkey is free from antibiotics. They're not talking about our easy grab-and-go chicken wing trays. Or that our sustainable shrimp wrapped in prosciutto makes the perfect appetizer. They're also not talking about our delicious spiral ham glazed with real honey. They're not talking because they're eating. Oh, hello. That looks so good. A giant, it's the little things that make mealtime easy, leaving more time for those closest to you during the holidays. You know when you go to Ross to find your new fall look at an oh yeah price? Check this out. That's Yes for Less. From the latest trends to your favorite brands, it feels even better when you find them for less at Ross. Yes for less. Now everyone at home should get ready for another year of Giants A-plus school rewards program. You can earn points and help local schools every time you use your Giant card. Thanks to you, Giant Food has been able to award over $36 million to thousands of schools since 2000. Signing up for your Giant card is easy. Simply go to GiantFood.com or stop by the Customer Solutions Center at any Giant store. Experience the magic of A-plus school rewards each time you shop. Hey, it's time for the grab bag. Questions are worth 20 points up or down 30 for the visual questions. On the Islamic calendar, Ramadan is what number month corresponding to September on the Gregorian calendar? Braddock. Nine. Nine is right. If you're worried about identity theft, you should know that it's least likely in what state whose capital is Pierre or Pierre. Stone. South Dakota. South Dakota's it. At the Battle of Gettysburg, Pickett's charge was directed against the Union troops holding what ridge with a grim name? The answer is Cemetery Ridge. On your screens for 30 points. This galaxy is part of a constellation cluster named for what mythical Greek hero who killed Medusa? Braddock. Orion. No, it's Perseus. Had there been public opinion polls in 1807, Congress's standing would have plunged after its passage of what unpopular E-initialed act halting foreign trade? Bain Branch. Answer. No answer. It's the Embargo Act. A circle is a graph of an equation of what degree? Paint Branch. Second degree. Yes. A chronicle of personal catastrophe expressed lyrically, said one writer, about what type of music named for a primary color? Thomas Stone. Blues. Blues, it is. On your screens for 30 points. I think Hail to the Chief has a nice ring to it. When asked his favorite song, this was the response of what man who became our... That's the end of the game. People aren't talking about how Chai's delicious Nature's Promise turkey is free from antibiotics. 
They're not talking about our easy grab-and-go chicken wing trays, or that our sustainable shrimp wrapped in prosciutto makes the perfect appetizer. They're also not talking about our delicious spiral ham glazed with real honey. They're not talking because they're eating. Oh, hello. That looks so good. A giant, it's the little things that make mealtime easy, leaving more time for those closest to you during the holidays. Ever open a kitchen cabinet and your pans fall out on the floor? Or reach for spices and everything falls out? Whether your kitchen needs a spruce up or a major remodel, a free consultation with an experienced designer at Cabinet Discounters will get you started. See photos of gorgeous kitchen and bath projects and find hours and locations of our seven showrooms at cabinetdiscounters.com. Find showroom locations, hours, and phone numbers at cabinetdiscounters.com. Cabinet Discounters, great quality, great price. Where can you find group term life insurance to help protect the ones you love? Well, if you're a federal employee, the choice is clear. WEPA, created in 1943 for civilian federal employees. Today, WEPA offers affordable rates and millions in premium refunds. Visit WEPA.org to compare rates and see how much you could save. WEPA, providing 44,000 federal employees affordable life insurance and more. My schedule doesn't slow down during the holidays, so I've made a gifting game plan. First, I break away from the malls and head to Hand and Stone for gift cards. I score major points with an amazing spa experience at a really affordable price, like a hot stone massage or a rejuvenating facial. I never get penalized for buying the wrong size. Yeah, Carly, this fits. And I've let everyone know Hand and Stone is my favorite kind of timeout. This holiday season, get ahead of the game with gift cards from Hand and Stone. Noise. We have a tie for second place, so let's talk about it. Paint Branch High School from Burtonsville, 320 points. Jamie, Alex, Alexis, nice job. Also with 320 points, Thomas Stone High School from Waldorf, Maryland. Alexa, Lindsay, Malachi, 320. And coming back for the playoffs, Lake Braddock High School from Burke, Virginia, Katie, Robert, and Will, 440 points. <laughs> Make sure you join us next week when we have Robinson, St. Stephen's, and St. Agnes in the Washington International School. I'm Hillary Howard, so glad you were here. Come on down, everybody. Woo!